Hey, what's going on guys? It's Darius from ArtistShortcut.com and today I want to talk about how to become a music manager. So, this one is less for my artists out there and more for the managers that are tuned in to, or the, the people that want to be managers that are tuned into ArtistShortcut.com. Um, basically, to be a manager, you don't need much, honestly. You just need to to be willing to to communicate with people, to be willing to to jump through hoops to, to get things done and to be willing to, to support an artist fully and help them develop as an artist. There's not really a set, uh, like a set skill set needed. I mean, you, a lot of the things like you can learn as you, as you go, but, um, you definitely, you have to support the artist. Like you have to support them probably more than they support themselves, to be honest with you. Um, you have to be willing to, to like, tell them like hey like this song is whack or this direction is whack or you know like the things you're trying to do like man we shouldn't go that route it's gonna you know limit us down the road on this aspect or whatnot or if they you know if they're if they are doing something good like yo that's awesome like yo i love that like that's cool we need more of that and then uh you gotta be willing to to like go out your way when they want to do something so they may be like man i want to have a show at the at this arena or this venue like you have to be willing to figure out who to contact at that that venue what's their contact information you got to call them and and figure out the process how how much that'll cost to rent the venue out how to make that happen like and you you play a lot of uh a lot of roles in the beginning like if there's no booking agent pr uh, or publicist there's nobody you know handling man anything like anything that's not already already handled by someone else you'll probably be handling it and if you're like if you're skilled as well like if you're a skilled producer or you're a skilled uh, audio engineer like you'll help with that as well so it's just you're basically the supporting backbone like you 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 run the operations you make sure everything is is going well so you really have to to be willing to go out your way and and work hard because as an artist, like as a, a artist or music manager, you don't. There's no degree necessary for it. There's no, like, there's no skill set for it. So it's like you have to be willing to to work hard and outwork everybody else because that barrier to entry, like, anybody can do it. Just like anybody could be a rapper. Just like anybody could be a producer. Like, but with being a music manager, anybody could literally do it today. Like, your product is managing an artist or not your product but your service is managing an artist so you can you can say you're a manager and then become a, a manager for an artist and do nothing for them and they fail and that looks bad on you like that's on your resume you managed this artist you were supposed to help them and of course not all the blame is on you because if you know they're doing drugs or whatnot and they're just not focused or working hard enough then it's like that's their fault but you have to be willing to, and I, I keep saying this, and I guess it's just because I, I can't stress it enough, that you have to be willing to go out of your way for this person. Like, this is going to become, and you got to like them. You got to, like, like them as a person. You have to get along with them. There needs to be some chemistry because that's going to become, like, your best friend. Like, you're going to be with them day in and day out. When you go on tour or if you go on tour, and I'm not even going to say if, when you go on tour, like, you're going to be with them all day. At the, the music video shoots, you're going to have to hit the videographers up, like, hey, we want to shoot, how much is it, the location, blah, blah, blah. You have to set the schedule, make sure it works with the artist. Like, you're going to be doing a bunch of back and forth. And sorry about this chair, too, because it's loud, but you have to do, like, the back and forth and all of the, the email and the kind of, like, just orchestrating everything. So... You need to like this person because if you don't like them, you're not going to go out your way for them. And you're not going to to put in the extra the extra work or go the extra mile to make things happen. So if you get a no, you might just say, oh, well, artist, we can't do it. So you got to choose something else. Whereas somebody who likes them as a person and who really wants to make this work will be like, yo, they said no, but like I can hit up somebody else in a different city or I can hit up, you know, I can hit up this person or you can even go international and say like, Hey, I got a, a friend over in China. I can see if he can, if he knows some promoters or something like you really have to go out of your way to make things happen. So yeah, man, being a music manager, is like, you just gotta be cool with people, be good with people, be good with building relationships. The more relationships you have, the more, the more leverage you have to make things happen. 
so the better your resume can be because you can make things happen much easier than someone who has no connections and has no idea how to do anything, <laughs> really. So yeah, that's how you become really a music manager. Please thumbs up the video, subscribe, and leave questions below. All right, guys, I'm Darius from artistshortcut.com, and I'm out.